Hi Taurus, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-June general reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Taurus, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Taurus, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Taurus, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Taurus, let's jump right into this. Again, this is your mid-June general reading. Y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Taurus? Thank you, Spirit. Taurus from mid-June. Thank you. We're going to do a little uh, Celtic cross today. Who's that? Take a chance on me. That's what I heard. That song. Uh, it's from a musical. Oh, my God. Y'all will know. Okay. Two of Cups and the full card here. What's at the bottom of the deck? Hermit, okay, we're going from single, loner, I don't know, to boom, opening up to a connection here, opening up to a friend, saying yes, forgiveness, two of cups, full card. This is like, mm, yes, we're doing this. Mm, yes, I like you. Mm, yes, I love you. Like letting go of fear and really rolling with it here. Hermit card, I'm going to put all this back. That's your theme. But the Hermit card, I really feel like it's been, um, a lot of you have been in solitude. You've been in solitude for a long time. Um, you've also, for a group of you, maybe you've been keeping something kind of quiet um, to a cup, so it could be a connection. But there is, wow. That normally doesn't happen. What is going on? Oh my God. It's happening. Okay, y'all have the lover's card and the six of pentacles. This is a new divinely guided situation, like a new job or a person, give and take, a healthy give and take, six of pentacles. Earth energy for a lot of you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, and Gemini in this energy. Wow. So again, like I said, how it just popped out, two of cups of the full, very similar to the lover's card where spirits like, boom, new person, hey, psh, Hey, hello, new person. Hey, hello, new experience. Six of Pentacles, healthy, beautiful, give and take. Someone made a bold move here or is going to. Queen of Wands. What's crossing you? The Three of Wands. There's been a lot of delays. When is this going to happen? It's happening in June. It's happening mid-June. It's happening in Gemini season. Lovers is Gemini. Ten of Swords. Um... You could be moving for work, relocating, that kind of energy, or you're just meeting someone new and it's like, oh my God, someone can like give back to me what I put out. Love that vibe for you. What's your focus, Taurus? What's your focus? Yeah, you're getting a lot of two cards today. Two at the beginning, two there, two here, two, two, two. A lot of you are seeing a lot of twos. That is option energy choices, the two of cups, the two of us, two, two contracts, the two of wands came out. That is a huge, huge um, synchronicity for a lot of you. Seeing a lot of twos. Your focus, again, that new, this new chapter that's opening up for you, knight of wands. This is someone made a brave move. Someone's like coming out, coming out of the closet, making that move, doing the thing. Is that person scared or terrified? You or them? Yes, but this is like, I'm just going to do it. Because if you don't or they don't, you'll live in regret and live with what ifs. And no one wants to live like that. So let's go ahead and push. This is like, I'm going to push. I'm going to go. I'm doing it. Two of Wands, new contract. I'm signing that contract. I'm saying yes to this person. I'm saying yes to that contract. I'm saying yes to whatever. You're moving forward so, 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 so quickly here. This is beautiful. Some of you I'm picking up, you thought you had to fight for whatever this is, and there is absolutely no fight. Is what I heard very specifically for someone. What's been in the recent past for Taurus, please? 
victory. Um, yeah, page of wands. There was like an announcement kind of energy is what I'm hearing and getting here. Page of swords, six of wands, an announcement. You were able to say something. Yeah, you were definitely seen and recognized for your hard work. Everyone's very grateful for you, proud of you. And I feel like you even got something like a reward. Yeah. You thought it wasn't for you, but it was. Eight of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles. Eight, eight of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles. Major announcement energy in the past. Crowning you in your mind right now is you and the feminine. Queen of Pentacles. Could again be dealing with another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Ten of Wands. You know your worth. You know that you're worth it for whatever this is. You're like asking yourself, should I still do that contract? And the answer is probably yes. And why would it be a yes? Because you deserve it and you're worth it. Whatever this is, this contract, this job, this person, this, this move, this, whatever this is for you. This is general, don't forget. Some of y'all love to think that this is a personal reading. It's not. It's general. Near future. I heard some of y'all say in your mind really quick, Queen of Pentacles, um, is it worth my time? You're questioning if something is really worth your time or worth your money, worth your effort, okay? What's in the near future for Taurus? Wow, destiny is what I heard. They go, your destiny, star card, the highest wish fulfillment card of Aquarius, where everything just fucking works out for you when the stars just align for you. Six of Cups is about a soulmate connection. It's a very sweet past life soulmate connection here. Um, Knight of Swords, someone's gonna reach out. Someone knows their truth here. Taurus, what's your power? Taurus, what's your power, please? <sighs> you know your truth. You know your truth. Your power is what Knight of Swords, your voice speaking up where you haven't spoken up before, saying the thing, sending the text, writing the email, whatever it is, no matter what. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you've been scared to do that. You've been scared to like say it. Magician, you have manifested this for yourself. You've asked for it and it's here. You've asked for whatever it is. It is here. And some of you kind of sit on it for a second and second guess it. And then, boom, and then you're like, you know what? <clears throat> no, I see you clearing your throat. You go, <clears throat> no. And then you take, you take it back. Interesting, interesting, okay. What's hidden here? You gonna come out? Devil, Capricorn for some of y'all very specifically. Very interesting. What's hidden from Taurus, please? One more. They love you. They're, 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 it, this is someone who's like, I say they love you because you have the Knight of Cups here. This is someone who you've either known for a long time, Knight of Pentacles, another earth sign. This is someone who's like, they're giving me kind of spacey energy, like star card Aquarius energy. I don't mean like dodo brain spacey. I mean, this person kind of has their head in the clouds just a touch. And they need to be like, they need a, a dose of reality is what spirit said. Okay. Um, anyways, there's someone's trying to make a decision. Okay. Um, about you. What can't they see? Hangman. That they're seeing things from the wrong lens. Moon card. Seven of swords. Yeah. This person in the past has maybe had a problem uh, or a hard time making a decision um, they know how they feel about you, Knight of Cups, very romantic or very creative. Even if it's like a friend, for example, this person has a lot of like, you know, that y'all have a deep connection. Friends can have deep connections. You know what I mean? This is someone that's been around for a while that you've known for a long time and or someone that you have strong potential to have a long connection with, but they're in a, can't really see things right here. They're very emotional with the hangman and the moon card. I feel like this person tries to be more like businessy and more, 
sophisticated and so prim and proper and like, I don't know, I'm seeing someone like wear a suit. Oh my God, they're showing me a mullet. It's like this person is like all business in the front, but then they're like party kid in the back. They've got the mullet. It's like business in the front, party in the back. Yeah, this person is like, has more feelings for you than they're letting on. They have deeper feels for you, yeah. Okay, what are your hopes and fears, Taurus? Nope. Yep. Seven of Wands, King of Swords. Mm. Um, you don't want... I'm hearing like the term ride or die. You're hoping that this person is like a ride or die for you. Again, partnership, bestie, even in a job. You're like, yeah, I hope this is the thing, the ride or die. Like my... My passion project. Some of you are fearing that this person, and when you open up and express yourself, because it's about you really, thank you, they literally go like Madonna, express yourself. Ooh, they go, that's your homework song. Some of you need to go listen to Madonna express, I think, yeah, express yourself. I love that. You need to express yourself. And some of you are fearing when you do, it won't be well received seven of wands and you'll be back on this defensive energy. But then they, again, this is a position of just fear. What is the outcome here for Taurus, please? Very good. Five of pentacles to the eight of pentacles. Where we've been in lack, we wanna work on it. Where we've been missing each other and separated, three of pentacles, let's come back together. All this earth energy is strong, other earth signs that you're around. Um, this is very much a value system. Outcome is working it out. I'm also seeing eight of pentacles, which is a focus card. Five and three is eight, right? Eight of pentacles in the tarot is also an energy of, this is gonna take work, it's gonna take focus. Any friendship, any relationship, any of that, it's gonna take work, right? Your ideas will be valued where I feel like they weren't valued in the past, five of pentacles. Someone might have like skipped you for a job or some kind of position in the past and now not only do you have the job but you're getting put in a higher position than what you maybe asked for. <laughs> High Priestess, Wow Death, Moon card, you. This is like very psychic connection. This is the counterpart. I cannot believe this. This is the counterpart to you. This is a divine high connection counterpart, marriage or business partnership in a very high way for most of you, where there's been a lot of illusions, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, energy, water in between this, like a lot of emotional illusion. When someone gets in their feels, they see the dark side of the story instead of the light side of the story. Okay, do we see that also showing up here in the High Priestess, the dark and the light? Okay, this is a divine counterpart. If we can get through and transform through these very deep emotions, but also the moon represents the energy of the ocean. Deep feels, like I saw with the uh, Knight of Cups. And you have three knights here. What is with all of the threes? Aries earlier had three aces and then four earlier, and then I worked on <sighs> Cancer. Cancer had three kings, you have three knights. I don't know. Three could be very significant, a two and then three. The two of us to the three of us. Someone could be pregnant. Anyways, this is like a beautiful, this is a counterpart. This is a counterpart. This is you, this is someone else. It's like more masculine, more feminine. It also could be vice versa. But the, the, the way that we bridge the gap here is we gotta let go of the fear. Moon card is also like, I'm scared. It's at night, I can't see. Well, too bad, get over it, get a flashlight. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. This is meant to be. I mean, you're starting with the lover's card and the six of pentacles. Something came in and was like, boom, for you. Like meant for you, you saw it, you're in it, or it's about to happen. Okay, 
the only thing hanging you up here is you're like, yeah, I've waited for this for a long time. In the past, you saw bits of success here. You are focused on a new life, new contract, new you, new person, or new location. In your mind, Queen of Pentacles, you know you're worth it. You have the resources, you have the money, you have the time, you have whatever it takes to grab it. So therefore, when you speak up, you will make your dreams come true. When you know your truth and actually but, but, but say it, boom, star card. You're going to make your dreams come true. Someone wants to be in this Knight of Pentacles, a path, a connection on the long haul with you, but Two of Swords, they're still a little not sure. There's still stuff about you or this connection that they're not sure about. Seven of Wands, that's what you don't want. You don't want this person to fight you anymore. And I don't mean physically, I mean like emotionally. Outcome looks great. We're going from out in the dark, feeling lonely, feeling like I'll never have what I want to boom. Not only do I have it, but I went right to the top. Huge turn of events for you guys. Spirit says, y'all probably need to see that in the title. I was like, okay. I keep my little, I keep a, uh, my little journal over here with um, all the titles and stuff and notes from all the readings and stuff, so. Okay, so clarifying this for you, Taurus, you know, I've already pre-shuffled and cut the clarifying debt for you. You have the Nine of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. There's a wish fulfillment, Eight of Wands. I think when you and someone start communicating like passionately and get in a place of four of pentacles, get in a place of balance, of respect. Yeah. What's this lovers for Taurus? Gemini energy, we're in Gemini season. The sun card came out. I'm gonna put all of this back because it was face down. It, it's whatever, you're like, I'm so happy. I hear y'all saying, I'm so happy. And if that's not you right now, you're about to be. I'm hearing breakthrough. It's like the sun when it breaks through the clouds, breakthrough, that kind of energy. Like all of a sudden, out of the blue. What's this lovers for uh, Taurus, page of swords, a communication. Um, I'm hearing a song for some of you. Someone might have wrote you a song or a poem or something like that or vice versa, nine of cups. Yeah, someone sees you and you see them. This is like Page of Swords is you and this person might have just started talking recently. Six of Pentacles. Wow, Six of Cups in the Star card. This is about a soulmate past life connection. For a small group of you, um, it's like coming out that you have a baby or that you're pregnant or there's something like with the family that you're able to announce something now. Um, yeah, Star card. And it's meant you have the Star card twice. This is like huge, 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 meant to be written in the stars, divinely guided. Can I get one more on the six of pentacles? Yeah, this is like high, the eight of wands came out again. This is like social media, um, high communication, quick texting, maybe group texting for some of you, but it's like, yeah, 10 of cups. You're so happy to say the thing, announce the thing, as soon as it gets here, it's like as soon as you get that good news, whoosh, everyone will know. Beautiful. What's been the holdup? What's the delay here? This is all very good, very happy energy. Why is the Three of Wands crossing Taurus? There's your Knight of Swords, which is you and the Four of Wands. Three of Pentacles. What's this Three of Wands for Taurus, please? Okay, so Devil and the Three of Cups is there could have been um, a third party. I'm hearing Knight of Swords, someone was suspicious about a third party. Yeah, someone, either you thought that someone you were in a relationship, partnership with, something like that, was doing something behind your back. Three of Cups.
Yeah. And that was it. I'm also fearing again, or fearing, I'm also hearing again that, and this came up in someone else's reading. I know this is old school, but the only thing you had to fear was fear itself. And Knight of Swords, it's about speaking up and speaking your truth. Again, don't live in regret. If you're interested in that position, if you want to take that job, if you want to go for that role, if you want to ask that person out, if you want to say the thing, the more that you don't do it, the more that you're just staying in devil energy, staying in a low vibrational operating out of fear, right? We don't want to do that. That's not healthy. And you know that, and you know that once you speak up, devil, knight of swords, four of wands, you get this union, you get this commitment. That three, we're talking about the three of wands. This is what you've been waiting for, okay? Basically for you to get out of your own way and stop being so scared of whatever this is, of knight of swords, of just speaking up, of just saying whatever it is. Okay, on your focus, why are you the two of wands? What's this new contract that, that Taurus is focused on? Nine of pentacles and the hierophant's trying to show up, which is you, 10 of cups. Yeah, two of pentacles, star card. Some of you, you're like, man, it's been really great being single for a long time, but, ah, but I need to move on from that death card, eight of cups, tower. Why is your focus the knight of wands, queen of wands? Wow, this is really stepping up when you're scared. Yeah, again, whatever this is, if you're like scared to have that conflict resolution, scared to whatever, talk to that person, say that thing, go for that whatever. It's just, you, you've had to get over it. You've had to like really rely on your power, on your strength um, and make like a big bold move here. A lot of you have left a comfort zone, eight of cups um, and death card, knight of wands is you're like, I'm really scared to do this. This is like leaving, um, and I just went and looked up, so I'll two, 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 two. Again, all the twos. Very, choice energy, do I or don't I? And you know what I'm gonna say, if it's not, if it's not a hell, if it's, if it's not a hell yes, it's a motherfucking no, right? If someone's not all about you, then what are you doing? If a job's not all about you, what are you doing? If a friend group is not all about you, what are you doing? Ah, we got it. We got it. We got it. You're like, I know I am going to step up. I'm going to do the things. Well, you are. Do it. In the recent past, yes, you, you also have seen, I'm hearing a glimpse of this. Your card flew out with the Page of Cups. Younger Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus. This is your card, Hierophant. Queen of Cups. It's like, yeah, you saw um, a high level commitment here and you like, you dipped your toe into it. You've met this person, you've seen positive results in this situation in the past. You've, you've had, they're seeing a flash. For those of you that are doing a lot of manifesting, calling in a new partner, calling in more friends, calling in that job, calling in children, calling in, this is general, whatever the fuck you're calling in. When you're calling it in, this is very, very, very important. When you are calling it in, like, oh my God, and this is tower energy. This is so much. A lot of you, when you call it in, you're starting to see, you're starting to see, go for, they're saying, just pick one. Go for example, say you're starting, you've been manifesting like um, really healthy friendships. And when you go out, say you go to your favorite coffee shop and you sit down and, and walks in like a really happy group of friends that seem like they're just there to support each other and love each other. And you're like, man, I wish I had more of that. Well, guess what? You're starting to see, that's what I'm saying. You're starting to see in your 3D experience, the things you've been asking for. I'm hearing for some of you, like say you had to interview with some so-and-so with, you know, Bob Roberts, I don't know why that name came through. Bob Roberts is the guy that's gonna interview for you for this position and you know your interviews next week for some reason now in that time frame, you're like, yeah, I keep seeing the name Bob or I keep seeing the name Robert or BR or you know what I don't know why it's coming through. But it's just like stuff like that. You're starting to see the sprinkle, the show up of your manifestations. 
And that's what you're like, yeah, it's working. It's, it's working. It's working. Eight of Swords, but this is what played you in the past. But someone didn't really fully step up because they were Eight of Swords. Um, scared, stuck in their head, stayed in entrapment. Yeah. You saw a sprinkle, but you stayed you stayed scared. Yeah. Why are you the queen of pentacles in your mind? Three of swords, ten of pentacles, ace of wands. You're being very cautious with whatever this is because you've been hurt. You've been hurt here before. Can't make it up. But this is meant to be. It's destined. It's whatever this is. It's meant for you. Again, for a lot of you, ten of cups. If you got past passed up in the past for a certain job, certain position, something like that, guess what? It's not only are you getting that call that the job's yours, but they're like, hey, we actually want you to be this higher position. What do you think? And you're like, oh my God, I was meant for this. Were you not? You were. Yeah. Star card. Oh my God. In the near future, when you change the way that you see things, you're solid. King of Pentacles with the hangman. Temperance. It's also going to land you. You're going from the queen of, queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles. You're going from like six figures to a millionaire. Like it's that kind of huge jump. Like you're already doing well. I'm not saying all of y'all make six figures, but queen of pentacles is very comfortable. Very comfortable queen. <laughs> okay. King of pentacles is like million billionaire. Like fucking not, I mean rich, but also just very, very abundant. Like this is like major upgrade payday. But hangman is here. There's been a change of perspective. Why is the star here? The truth is what? Queen of swords, strength card. When I have that conflict resolution, when I speak up and say the, say the stuff, even though I'm scared, strength card, it's difficult to speak my truth. It is difficult to speak up. I get it, but when you do, Again and again and again, you make your fucking dreams come true. Why are you not speaking up already? That's what I want to ask you. Why have you spoken up before? <laughs> You've held yourself back on whatever this is for you because you you didn't see it clearly before. Or maybe someone else. Strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I was like, what's the Ace of Swords looking at the King or pointing at the King of Pentacles for? Because this is a divine counterpart, Queen of Queen of Pentacles. The truth is, this is a divine match. The truth is that y'all are a pair. The truth is, you know what I mean? Talk it out, Queen of Swords. Is it hard? Yes. Is it scary? Yes. But when you do, you feel better. Let's look at you. Why are you the Knight of Swords? saw the tower yeah you're like I've thought about it and I'm just gonna go with it and then you land a beautiful healthy relationship person connection yeah when you speak up we're talking clarifying you doing the thing saying the thing clarifying that four of swords tower queen of cups it rocks your world it changes everything in your heart and your relationship status for a lot of you have you been defensive about this in the past? Yes. But there's a six of wands right there again. This will be a victory for you. Why is this a tower? Y'all, why is this a tower? Two of cups, because you love them. They love you. You love them. They love you. It, Matt, 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 Matt. Some of y'all are super shy or something like that. Okay. Well, let's look at this hidden energy. Two of swords. Yeah, this person, three of cups, judgment. Um, Y'all could be, this person I'm hearing, friend zone. They might have, you might have friend zoned them. They might have friend zoned you. But two, this is on their two of swords. They're, they feel more than that, than friends. Let's put that. Hermit. Yeah, three of pentacles. This might be someone you work with that's like been interested in you. Um, but they think you're with someone else or something like that. And so they, they've been pulled back. They, they're like, 
they just go home and they're they're like that. On the Knight of Pentacles, we got the Two of Swords again and the Three of Pentacles, which was in your outcome. Seven of Wands. What's the blinders about? Judgment, huge decision, Five of Pentacles, Chariot Emperor. This is your Divine Masculine finally realizing that they want to collaborate with you, be in something for the long haul when there's been a lot of like basically just a misunderstanding in the past. For some of you, this might be a business partner that doesn't know if they want to work with you because y'all are friends. Now, that is very dicey energy. I'd be very cautious with that. Some of you, it's like, hey, I, I want to build this business or I want to add on this to this, you know, whatever. And you're like, yeah, I might ask my friend to join this business or whatever. I'm not saying don't do it, but that's a side message for some of you. Yeah, in your hopes and fears, you're very much scared that this person's going to fight you. Um, that they're not going to... They're not going to value what you really have to say when you're being open and vulnerable, is what I heard. King of Swords. Oh, you're, you're scared of not really being heard. King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. You're scared of not really being heard. It's like something about your voice or the way you speak. You're like, yeah, I don't know if they're going to understand. This is King of Swords. Yeah, Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, World Card. I am picking up another message for some of you that, again, if you're picked for the job, like I said, or you weren't picked in the past and now you are picked, the other people that went for that job, the other people that were whatever, five of wands, get ready for some people to really not like you. But guess what? Too bad. You, Seven of Pentacles, waited your turn for this. You were the patient one. What's this? Five of Pentacles in the outcome. Y'all, it came right back out. Five of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Knight of Wands, yeah, this is just a major misunderstanding here. You've been missing them, they've been missing you. Y'all might have had a little bit of a conflict, sure. Why is the Three of Pentacles the outcome for Taurus, please? Oh my God, major huge decision. Oh my God. Leveling up, again, High Priestess, you're like, I knew it. Ten of Cups, you're happy, you have the High Priestess, again, here twice. Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, World Card. Again, there's an energy here, Taurus, where wherever you were not picked in the past, you're not only being you're not only being picked, but you're in this like higher energy here. And this is like again, the High Priestess is what the the counterpart to the Hierophant, which is you. So it's like someone's just like saying, "Fuck it, let's just do it." Like you're in a high spiritual connection. You've been separated from this person. Five of swords. Maybe I'll have to fight. Maybe I'll have conflict. Whatever. But this is like once I speak my truth and really and I'm hearing stake my claim, it's yours. It's yours. Ten of cups. Happiest card in the deck after the sun card. Happiness can be yours if you use your voice. I love y'all, Taurus. That's your message. Um, those of you that want to do the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. Um, where we connect with your other person. And the Taurus that won the pick a card this time is Esther R. Wilkinson. Esther, you are my winner. So Taurus, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for your support. I'll see y'all next time. He just came to say hi, I guess. One more. This is for Esther Wilkinson, Taurus Energy. Spirit, what do we have for Esther? Spirit, this, these messages are for Esther, please. Thank you. Esther, you're stuck in your own head. You're stuck in your own mental prison, babe. Tower, Five of Swords. You've probably had a fight, an argument, or conflict with someone that really was disruptive. 
um, and now you can't stop thinking about it. And when you get in that energy, you are literally um, putting yourself on buffer. They're saying you're buffering, like your life is in buffer mode right now, okay? I'm trying to process what happened, yeah. Esther, what's going on here? King of Swords, Masculine, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, full card. Someone had a conversation and said, hey, let's have a new beginning here. Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, Moon card. There's a lot of, um, I'm hearing misconception, deception. There's a lot of um, false truths here. Interesting. Esther. King of Wands. Esther. Star card. I mean, this is like big time for Taurus. Um, masculine air or masculine fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we have Aquarius' card, star card, and the three of wands, two of cups. There's been a delay on a connection here. It seems like it's all going to work out in the end. There could be two people fighting over you, an air sign and a, and a, and a fire sign. There's something about you're more interested and like attracted to the, the fire sign, but the air sign is, um, I'm hearing the word loyalty for you. They're more loyal. I don't know what that's about. Both of my eyes are itching for you. That's weird. Okay. This is very specific. You might be wearing um, something in your eye makeup, uh, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara and it's it, you're allergic to it babe you're allergic to it that's i mean that's never happened they go whatever she puts on her eyes she's uh you're allergic to it or or it's you're you're having a not good reaction i am in no way shape or form a medical professional please take that with a grain of salt and definitely check in with your doctor if that is you know something there but yeah they were like she's something that she's doing with her eyes you're allergic that's what i keep hearing for you King of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who they have a strong hold on you, masculine air. Um, King of Wands. You could be in a some type of a codependent relationship with this person. Oh, Queen of Cups. There's two queens, five of pentacles. Yeah, you might have um what's the devil on that? King Queen of Swords, shit. Yeah, this King of Swords you're dealing with has two queens. You're one of them and there's another Queen of Cups. Maybe this person has another water sign or ha another has a water sign. Oh, don't love that. What's this Five of Swords? That's too many. Okay, so yeah, you you they're saying Spirit goes, you popped off. You spoke up, you said something. Three of pentacles, nine of cups, four of pentacles. You're like, okay, cool, you're gonna do that. I'm gonna go work over here, or I'm gonna go do this, and that made you happy. By you saying something, you made yourself happy. Three of pentacles, yeah, you're like, I'm gonna go give to someone else too. There's a little bit of like, two can play at this game. I'm going to remind you that two wrongs don't make a right. But yeah, this is a little bit of like a revenge energy. You're like, oh, okay. Someone's uh, making me an option. Cool, cool. See what I can do. Yeah. It's that kind of, even if that didn't really happen, it's just that kind of energy here. Boom. I literally had to like almost shake like a dog. Like that was, ooh. Yeah, you're looking for like Mr. Right here, you know, or Mrs. Right. It doesn't matter. Um, Seven of Cups, King of Cups. You have three kings. I do feel like you have a lot of options in love and kings. You are manifesting. 
You're manifesting the sun card, a new beginning with somebody here. You're like, I don't know where they are, but I want a happy, loving, happy, safe connection. What's this King of Wands for Esther? Definitely could be a Leo, Eight of Cups, Strength card, and the Eight of Cups on this. Queen of Swords. <gasps> Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person might have walked away from you in the past, but they're, or they're actually leaving something difficult, a place, a location, they're leaving a mindset that's difficult. This person is, whoever this King of Wands is for you, they weren't seeing the potential of this in the past and they're leaving that behind in Ace of Cups, falling in love with themselves or you. Why is the Star card here? Six of Cups, children could be involved. Three of Swords, Four of Cups. Someone from your past that's brought you a significant amount of pain. That cycle's coming to a close. Three of Cups, Justice, Page of Wands. What's this King of Wands for you? Moon card, Queen of Wands. There's a new beginning with this person. A deep emotional connection with this King of Wands. It could be a twin flame connection or reconnection that you... It's funny, like I feel like you've been in like a very like codependent, toxic type relationship with someone. You've basically found out their toxic, gross traits. That they definitely have someone else, something, something there. Or at least an emotional, I'm hearing emotional affair, which is kind of, in my opinion, worse than physically like fucking someone else. Anyways, it's stirred a fucking bunch of conflict here. Um, you've been like out looking for Mr. Right, just trying to be happy. And then as you do that, I think someone from your past, a twin flame type energy re-enters your life for a higher purpose. So you're kind of going from karmic to high level here. That's your reading. If there's anyone else here, I love y'all. I'll catch y'all in the love reading or next time. Bye.